How Sodium Could Change the Game for Batteries The new Challenger Sodium Ion Batteries which swap sodium for the lithium that powers most EVs and devise us like cell phones and laptops today. Sodium ion batteries could squeeze their way into some corners of the battery market as soon as the end of this year, and they could be huge in cutting costs for EVs. One of the reasons that lithium dominates batteries today is absolutely, maddeningly simple. It's small. Lithium is the third lightest element, heavier than only hydrogen and helium. When it comes down to it, it's hard to beat the lightest metal in existence if you're trying to make compact, lightweight batteries. And cutting weight and size is the goal for making everything from iPhones to EVs. A lightweight, powerful battery means your phone can be smaller and your car can drive farther. So one of the primary ways we've measured progress for batteries is energy density, how much energy a battery can pack into a given size. When you look at that chemical reality, it's almost no wonder that lithium-ion batteries have exploded in popularity since their commercial debut in the 1990s. There are obviously other factors too, like lithium-ion's ability to reach high voltages in order to deliver a lot of power, but the benefit of being lightweight and portable is hard to overstate. Lithium-ion batteries have also benefited from being the incumbent. There are countless researchers scouring the world for new materials and new ways to build lithium-ion cells, and plenty of companies making them in greater number cell of which adds up to greater efficiencies. As a result, costs have come down basically every year for decades, with the notable exception of 2022. And at the same time, energy density is ticking up, a trend I'm personally grateful for because I often forget to charge my phone for days at a time, and it typically works out much better when that happens now than it did a few years ago. While backup systems tend to use lithium-ion batteries today since they're what's available, many companies are working to build batteries that could eventually be even cheaper and more robust. In other words, many researchers and companies want to design batteries specifically for stationary storage. New batteries could be made with abundant materials like iron or plastic, for example and they might use water instead of organic solvents to shuttle charge around, addressing lingering concerns about the safety of large-scale lithium-ion battery installations. But compared to stationary storage, there are fewer candidates that could work in EV batteries, because of the steep demands we have for our vehicles. Today, most of the competition in the commercial market is between the different flavors of lithium-ion batteries with some lower-cost versions that don't contain cobalt and nickel gaining ground in the last couple of years. That could change soon too, though, because just below lithium on the periodic table, a challenger lurks. Sodium. Sodium is similar to lithium in some ways, and cells made with the material can reach similar voltages to lithium-ion cells, meaning the chemical reactions that power the battery will be nearly as powerful. And crucially, sodium-based batteries have recently been cramming more energy into a smaller package. In 2022, the energy density of sodium-ion batteries was right around where some lower-end lithium-ion batteries were a decade ago when early commercial EVs like the Tesla Roadster had already hit the road. Projections from NEF suggest that sodium-ion batteries could reach pack densities of nearly 150 watt-hours per kilogram by 2025 and some battery giants and automakers in China think the technology is already good enough for prime time. Why China could dominate the next big step in batteries? China is far ahead of the rest of the world in developing sodium-powered batteries, which are starting to compete with the popular lithium-ion batteries. Accordingly, deep inside China, thousands of chemists, engineers and manufacturing workers are shaping the future of batteries. The city's Central South University produces graduates who are driving technology, just as Stanford University has made careers for Silicon Valley entrepreneurs who pioneered microchips. Across the Shang River, vast factories mix minerals into highly processed compounds to create rechargeable batteries. These batteries, most of which are made of lithium, have powered the growth of cell phones and other consumer electronics. They are transforming the auto industry and may soon begin to do the same for solar panels and wind turbines that are so important in the fight against climate change. China dominates their chemical production and refining. Now, 
China is positioning itself to come and the next big innovation in rechargeable batteries. Replacing lithium with sodium, a much cheaper and more abundant material. Sodium, found around the world as part of salt, sells for 1-3% to of the price of lithium and is chemically very similar. Recent breakthroughs mean that sodium batteries can now be recharged daily for years, taking away the main advantage of lithium batteries. The energy capacity of the sodium battery is also increased, and sodium batteries have a big advantage. They hold almost all of their charge when the temperature drops below freezing, something lithium batteries typically don't. Chinese battery executives said in interviews that they figured out how to make sodium battery cells last year so similar to lithium batteries that they can be manufactured using the same equipment. China's Giant Cuddle, the world's largest maker of electric car batteries, says it has discovered a way to use sodium and lithium batteries in a single electric car battery pack, combining low cost and weather resistance of sodium battery with extended range of lithium cell. The company says it is currently preparing to mass-produce these hybrid battery packs. Multinational corporations are paying attention to sodium. Mike Henry said it would eliminate the peak of demand for lithium. Chief Executive Officer of BHP, the world's largest mining company. I believe we will start to see sodium replacing lithium for certain applications. At the Shanghai Auto Show, Automakers and battery makers are expected to announce plans to use sodium batteries in at least some small cars destined for the Chinese market. The most promising uses for sodium batteries are for power grids, wire networks, and transmission towers. Grid batteries are a rapidly growing market, especially in China. Tesla said this week that it will build a factory in Shanghai to produce lithium batteries for energy suppliers. Sodium batteries need to be larger than lithium batteries to hold the same charge. That's a problem for cars, which have limited space, but not for grid storage. Utilities switching from lithium to sodium could simply place twice as many large batteries in an empty lot near solar panels or wind turbines. Unlike lithium batteries, the latest sodium batteries do not require scarce materials such as cobalt a mineral that is mined mainly in Africa under conditions that raise concern for human rights groups. The latest sodium batteries also don't require nickel, mostly coming from mines in Indonesia, Russia and the Philippines. However, as China races to lead in sodium, it still faces challenges. For starters, there's a place to get sodium. While salt is abundant, the United States accounts for more than 90% of the world's ready-to-mine soda reserves, the main industrial source of sodium. Deep beneath the southwestern Wyoming desert lies a massive soda ash deposit, formed 50 million years ago. The soda ash there has long been extracted for the American glass industry. With minimal natural soda ash reserves and unwillingness to depend on imports from the United States, China instead produces synthetic soda ash at coal-fired chemical plants. Another question for sodium is whether lithium is still expensive. Lithium prices quadrupled between 2017 and November last year, but have since fallen by two-thirds. There are also doubts about the durability of sodium batteries. David Fishman Power industry consultant at consulting firm Lantau Group said utilities want to see how sodium batteries perform for years outdoors, not just in a laboratory. But Mr. Fishman and others are now closely monitoring the development of sodium batteries. Demand for batteries is growing rapidly, and lithium is unlikely to continue to be the dominant material forever. Mr. Henry of BHP said yes, sodium has a role to play. China is taking the lead in promoting research in this area.